Alright, cheers everyone and welcome back to Instant Screaming. This week's two movies are The Watcher and The Spiritualist. First up, The Watcher, which you'll find on Netflix. Now, this is an interesting case of being based on a true story and not completely blowing that conceit away. Obvious liberties are taken to spice up the story, but nothing that's actually that far off from the real events, which were kind of insane. Uh, this is based on couple Derek and Marita Brodus, who moved into a large house and soon after began getting disturbing letters from someone calling themselves The Watcher. The movie adds a tragic history to the house and redubs the mysterious Watcher as The Raven, and also adds a pretty trippy psychological bent. I love the way they played The Raven as a monster and the letters were very, very creepy. The pre-third act twists were all pretty cool, though the B-plot wasn't that great and had a tendency to kind of suck the momentum out of the film whenever it showed up. It also played to drag out the final stretch and lead to an ending that was somewhat disturbing, I suppose, but felt kind of tacked on because they wanted to have just one more twist. All in all, a solid outing, and I really enjoyed it. Following up, available on Amazon, is The Spiritualist. This is about a woman who has been living with her mentally unstable mother who inherits the house after she passes. Severe night terrors lead her to think that she's being haunted by her mother's ghost, so she enlists the aid of a spiritualist and several friends to have a seance and attempt to cleanse the house. Now, while the spiritualist does deliver some fairly interesting scenes here and there, the downfall of this movie is that it's slow moving, but still somehow difficult to follow. A lot of the story, especially early on, is told in flashbacks, but had no visual distinction from the present day scenes. Because of this, I had some trouble telling the two timelines apart. Really, the only indicators were that certain characters were only in one timeline or the other. The visual look of the film is very muddy and could have used from some additional contrast and highlighting, though it does lend to a decent atmosphere. They also spent far too much time with various side characters that contributed nothing to the main story and left me wondering if they were actually supposed to be more important and I just kind of missed something. Some tighter editing would have saved this one, I think. All right, everybody, that's all we've got for this week. Hopefully that helps you figure out what you want to watch this weekend. Uh, in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, do like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Cheers.